Oh, look at Karula. She's alert. She's heard ox peckers. Now, of course, being at her height, she can't see what we can see. Now, there's a, a group of male impalas close by, but she hasn't spotted them yet. So I think they're probably, the royal families are probably about to be snorted at. Especially with Hosanna and Shongile wandering around the way they are. Okay, I think it on cue. One, two. Three, no, Impala, you're supposed to have spotted them already. Are you blind? There's Shongile and Korula. Korula hasn't spotted the Impala yet, so you must realize with grass, the height it is, it, it is an advantage as well as a disadvantage. Ooh. No, has she spotted them? But I think they've spotted her. Look at Shongile. I'll stalk them, Mum. I'll get them. Now the snorting is definitely going to start. And Paula are looking at her with a very bemused look on their face, and they have not snorted once. But she does have her tail up. There we go. That's about time. Crude is about 30 meters from them, walking down the road behind us. Shongila has gone off. Oh, Hosanna is still coming through. Now, this is quite interesting because the Impala haven't seen Hosanna. And they can see Karula. And she's walking towards them almost. And they could even run in the direction of Hosanna. You might get, oh no, Hosanna, you're being silly. Ah, an Impala spotted you. You could have got an Impala running straight at you without even realizing it. Hello, boy. Oh, you glutted yourself last night, didn't you? Look at that belly. It's wobbling as you walk. Oh, now you see the Impala, doofus. Tim's wondering, do these animals smell the Impala? I'm sure they smell the Impala, but you must realize Impala are the most numerous antelope in Africa. They're all over the place, so the smell of them is everywhere. So leopards, lions, wild dogs, all the predators, they rely on their sight to be able to catch impala and things like that. And as soon as they've been spotted, they give up the hunt because they need that camouflage or they need that element of surprise. And a leopard normally will only go from about five meters. They do 24 meters per second, but they're only really charged at that five meters. Oh, solo Shungalolo, what are you doing behind us here? Now, unfortunately, as you followed them across the boundary to the north. Oh, Karula's using the cubs. See, Karula's using the cubs as a distraction. So the Impala are completely distracted by the little cubs and Karula is now taken off and she's trying to stalk around from the other side. I suppose that's one thing, use your kids as, as a distraction. There's Hasana. Oh, well, but mom, what are you doing? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> They're snorting at me. So the Impala, oh, 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 sun is climbing trees, Impala are chasing each other, <laughs> they're confused, it is of course about to be breeding season for the Impalas, Hosanna, you've just ruined everything, <laughs> what are you doing, you're a silly cat. Buttons Cockatoo is wondering, do the animals follow the roads a lot out here? Yes, well, the roads are built on where the original sort of large game paths were in the area. And you, also wherever uh, there was a high concentration of game. So the roads are designed to find animals. And lion and leopard will often use roads to walk between areas. I think Shungila is going to maybe join her brother up in the bowels of an Inkoma tree. <laughs> up you go. She's thinking about it. Mm. 
One, two, no. She doesn't want to go up. Okay, well, let's get a bit closer. Kula has given up the hunt as well. She's just sitting on the road, giving herself a good groom. And Hasana, where are you? He's quite high up in this beautiful brown ivy tree. Mario is wondering if I can tell the leopards apart when they walk past the vehicles. Yes, I can. Um, quite easily at the moment. Oh, if I can smell the leopards. No, you can't. So the only time you already smell leopards is when they scent mark. And their urine has the most wonderful smell. It smells like buttered popcorn. this and he's looking out he's like oh dear I've got to come down it's looking a bit 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 steeper than it did early so here he comes <laughs> silly cat oh, he's gonna come down right next to us oh that could break and we've seen a sign of fall out of a few trees He's calling to his mom. Oh. <laughs> you silly cat. <laughs> he is so clumsy. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, you went up there. You've got to come down. <laughs> that was quite a... Quite, quite an unceremonious descent. And Pala, of course, still snorting away. Karula and Shongila have stopped in the road next to us, or in front of us, and he's heading on his way to join them, unless he decides to charge the Impala, which I doubt. There's Shongila getting a good bathing. Hosanna, back. what are you doing? They can see you. He suddenly just dropped his body posture. He's thinking about stalking. <laughs> Hosanna, you've been spotted, Chief. Yes, move along. No, no, no Impala for you this morning. Shongila gave Kurula a little bit of a fright there. Okay, let's keep up with them. Uh, any station in the east, copy me. Uh, Kurula and Montuan heading towards Gauri Main Junction with Philemon's Cutline, so just to the east of uh, Triple M Junction with Gauri Main. They're going to be on the road in the next five. There's three stations from the north currently here. So just updating the radio, letting the guys know if they do cross, where she's going to cross. decided to take a break.
Now, of course, leopards are the only big cats out here that are really adept at climbing. And Shamsun is wondering, do they have specially adapted paws? Well, not really the paws, but more the claws. And uh, it's more their body shape that's adapted to climbing than specifically a, 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 a paw or whatnot. Um, so they have a very similar system to, to the lions when it comes to retractable claws, and other cats for that matter. But, um, of course, their, their claws are a bit longer for their body size, and that does aid in, in the climbing. But the biggest advantage they have in climbing is, of course, their weight. The reason they're not too heavy or not too big is due to the fact that they climb trees. So being too, too heavy to climb a tree would n negate all the advantages that comes with it. So lions are social predators. Lions are much bigger. They can climb, but they can't climb well. But where leopards can climb very well because of the, the, their body weight. And that's why they fill that very specific ecological niche. Oh, she's going to scent mark. So we're going to have the lovely wafting smell of buttered popcorn quite shortly. So leopard urine makes you think you're in the movies. Okay, they are heading towards our... southern boundary quite quickly. Sana smelling scent marks. Now I think Tangana was in this area last night or yesterday so probably smelling that male leopard scent marks. Sorry. Here we go. Stations, this, the sighting is on Zoe's junction with Gari Main. Firm Andrew, I just keep coming to Zoe's Junction, Gary Main. They are on the fire break now, approaching Gary Main. So, Tyler is wondering will they jump on an animal from a tree? They will, but it's not too often that they do that. It's a very high risk maneuver, and it's not very often that they're actually in the exact spot where an impala happens to wander under. Oh, there's a little Fleming grimace. So, smelling urine, taking that scent over the Jacobson's organ and uh, basically that's one of the ways these animals communicate is by urinating and scent marking and uh, they're able to take that over the Jacobson's organ, garner information, sort of sex, age, ready for mating, not ready for mating. So I think they're smelling Tingana's scent marks from yesterday. That's why they're so interested. So they're not so interested in their mom's scent marking or urine. Smelly, smelly, smelly. <laughs> Double Fleming Grimace. <laughs> I'm very interested in what Tangana sent Mark. Ah, Shongila is over it. Work those hips. Hassan is still fascinated by well, what's possibly his father. It's uh, it's very difficult, or actually near impossible, to say for certain uh, whether who the dad is without doing genetic testing. As female leopards will mate with multiple males. Anyway. 
go. It looks like the royal family having a royal rest. Brenda's wondering whether Karula will miss the cubs when they go their separate ways. No, she's designed to breed as much as possible, spread her genetic line. So as soon as these cubs, or she's already started mating, but as soon as the cubs are gone, she'll start mating again and start getting prepared to rear the next litter.